Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango and welcome to day 28 of the 90 days of four Pilates workout series. Today we are going to do a workout to help strengthening and build and tone all the muscles around your booty, your inner thighs and your outer thighs. So if you're ready, just ride your mat. Let's do this together. Now let's start by allowing yourself to come to own four positions. We're gonna do a little bit warm up before we start the main workout, just like normally. So I'm gonna to inhale, open your arms, shoulders apart, your legs a bit apart, your shoulders on top of your wrist. And now I'm gonna to inhale, slowly move backward and round your spine and bring your back back to neutral, lengthen your spine again to own four on your knees and your hands here. And then come back, move backward, Round your spine and bring your back back to neutral. We're going to do it for five more times with your own breath. Keep breathing for belly button in. Lengthen your spine. Three, make a precise movement. Two, backward and round and neutral in your back. And backward, last one. And slowly bring your back back to neutral. Now slightly engage your core, tuck your feet. I want to inhale and move backward all the way and come back five times with your own breath. Four belly button in, back in neutral, lengthening. Three, length your neck, look down to the mat. Last one, inhale and exhale. Very good. And now I want to inhale, lengthen one leg, tuck your foot, move backward through the back of your knee is stretching and slowly come back five times, just slowly with your own breath. Four, belly button in. Three, keep breathing. Very good. Two. And last one. To the other side, lengthen and move backward, then come back. Five, keep breathing. Four, belly button in. Three, inhale and exhale. And two, and last one. And slowly come back, tuck your feet. Now inhale, I wanted to try to lift your hips as high as you can. Come to reverse B. I wanted to inhale, bend your knee and to the other side. So five more times with your own breath. Keep breathing. Four, slowly. To the other side, belly button in. Three, lengthen your neck. Two. And last one. And slowly bend both knees down. Bring your torso and hips down to the mat. All right, and now I'm going to lengthen one leg and opposite arm two was the opposite side. Now lift your arm and your leg up and down for five. Keep breathing. Four, belly button in. Three two and last one and then to the other side lengthen your arm up soften your elbows if you need to lengthen and down lift and down keep breathing and last one lift and down and bend shut your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth rotate your ankles and then reverse all right, and now let's allow yourself to bend your whole elbows down to the mat. Move forward and move backward. Lengthen and come back. You can open your legs if it's apart to make it easier. And keep breathing. Move, lengthen and all the way back forward and backward again. Lengthen your arms and come back. And one more time and bring it back and slowly bring your whole back to neutral here. Now you want to lengthen your arms one more time. Open your arm to the side, come back to the other side and back to the center. I want to use your whole chest and shoulders, not just your arm to lift up. So that way you will feel your middle part of your body, your waist is rotating as well. It's twisting and then come back last one to the other side, slowly back to the central, beautiful. Rotate your ankles, reverse, 
and now let's move to the main workout here so lengthen one leg towards the back make sure that your hip not higher one side than the other one just make it stabilize and balance both hips facing down to the mat now i want to keep your shoulders far away from your ears feel free anytime during this workout that you feel on your wrist just put your whole forearms down to the mat to make it easier otherwise lengthen all right and now you're going to inhale pull the belly button in soften your elbows lift your leg up as high as you can and bring it down slowly inhale and exhale very good keep breathing lengthen your leg squeeze in the thighs inhale up exhale down very good don't hold your breath inhale and exhale and last one good and still on the same leg i want you to lift your leg up dorsi flex with your foot now inhale start to make a little pulse here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and bring your leg down bend your knee to the other side lift it up as high as you can and come back slowly here with your own breath pull the belly button in bring it down with control very good inhale lift and exhale down squeeze your body muscle stabilize your hips your hips facing down to the mat inhale and exhale I want you to hear your breath and slowly bend your knee down, shake your hips, inhale deeply and exhale deeply and on the same leg, lengthen again, lift it up just above the hips, dorsiflex with your foot, make a little pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and bring it down. Alright, and now you're going to allow yourself to open your leg to the side and come back 10 times with your own breath. So keep breathing, 9, Squish in the thighs, eight. Make sure your hips still facing down to the mat, seven, six. Keep breathing, five. Soften your elbows if you need to, four, three. Very good, two, and last one to the other side, ten. Keep breathing, nine, eight. Bring it back slowly, seven. Six, I want you to squeeze in the thighs. Five, keep breathing. Four, belly button in. Three, two, and last one. Slowly bring it down. Come to tripod, shake your hips a little bit. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, and now I want you to all lean on one side to do side kick series. So bend your knees to 90 degree, activate your feet, shoulders far away from your ears, lift your knee as high as you can and then come back, inhale up, exhale down, pull the belly button in, squeeze in the thighs, very good, keep breathing and make sure your shoulders far away from your ears, inhale and exhale, bring it up and down, two, and last one good now open your leg as high as you can your whole leg and then come back again lift it up and down keep breathing very good inhale and exhale belly button in good stabilize your hips inhale i wanted to hear your breath and feel your leg is shaking right now and last one slowly bring your leg down good dusty flex with your feet i want to lift your leg just about the hips lengthen and bend and lengthen and bend keep breathing here with your own breath inhale and exhale beautiful you can do this and lengthen come back try to reach a little bit further very good three two and last one and slowly bring your legs down and now you want to allow yourself to lift your heel up at, if your knee up and your heel stick your thing, your toes stick together and want to inhale and slowly slide your leg further to the back so try to keep the same angle on your knee and every movement start from your hips so you're going to slide your legs back with your knees to bend 90 degree and come back good and keep breathing here 
Stabilize your hips, pull the belly button in, inhale and exhale. You can keep your leg parallel to the ground to make it easier. Just listen to your body, listen to your knee. Very good. Keep breathing. Press your lower leg down to the mat, squeezing the thighs, pull the belly button in. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Keep breathing. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your legs down. The last movement, lengthen both legs towards the front. And feel free to bend your bottom leg and move your top leg further away if it's easier for your hips. Or you can just bend both knees if it's easier for you. So inhale, lift your legs up and exhale, bring it down. Keep breathing a couple more times. Look at your own breath. And up and down. Pull the belly button in. Lift down. Squeeze in the thighs. Activate your foot. And two. And last one. Lift and down. Bend your knee. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Now let's lean to the opposite side. The second series on the other side. So again, hands support your head and feel free to rest your head down on your arm like this if it's easier for your wrist. So bend your knees to 90 degrees, open your knee as wide as you can and then come back. Keep breathing here and do it slowly with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Squeeze in the thighs and keep the same angle on your knee. And two more times here. Yeah? Last one. And bring your leg down. Good. Now I'm going to inhale and slowly lift your whole leg up and down. Press your bottom leg down to the mat. Squeezing the thighs. Bring it down slowly with control. Very good. Inhale and exhale. Pull the belly button in. Do it slowly to feel your whole legs and booty are shaking right now. Good. And stabilize your hips. Beautiful. And last one, slowly bring your leg down. Dorsi flex with your feet. I want to lift your leg just above the hips. Lengthen and bend and lengthen and bend. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. You can do this. And lengthen, come back. Try to reach a little bit further. Very good. Three, two, and last one, and slowly bring your legs down. All right, and now for the next movement, I wanted to open your knee as wide as you can, and again, move your leg towards the back, and slowly bring it back to the center. So make sure that you always press your lower leg down to the mat. You can leave your leg to parallel to the ground if it's easier for you to move. And if it's easier for your knee, keep breathing slowly with your own breath. Inhale. And exhale. And move backward. And come back. You can put your hands in front of your ribcage to help more with the balance and stabilization on your hips. Keep breathing. Come back. Inhale backward. And exhale back to the center. Beautiful. And three, keep the same angle on your knee or leg down. And last one, move all the way back and slowly bring it back to the center. Lengthen both legs towards the front. Activate your feet, lift your leg up and down. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze in the thighs, soften your bottom knee if it's easier for you. Very good. Keep breathing. Feel your whole legs and booty are crazy right now. Good, I love this one so much. And last one, and slowly bend both knees. Shake your hips in here deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I wanted to lie all the way down on your belly. Rest your head on your hand, shoulders far away from your ears. Open your legs to width apart. Now I wanted to inhale and slowly lift one leg up. Exhale, bring it down to the other side and then come back. Both legs up at the same time and back to the center. 
twice and then right leg left on and both legs up and down and up and down so you can always make it easier by bringing each leg at a time all the time so keep breathing pull the belly button in press your hip down to the mat very good inhale and exhale down and last one to the right last one to your left both legs and up and down very good keep breathing inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth bend your knees tuck your feet now again lift both legs up squeeze your body engage your core and come back 10 times with your own breath 9 8 7 6 don't have to lift so high listen to your lower back 4 belly button in 3 two and last one lift and down and lengthen your legs straight your heels and here deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now tuck your feet and you're going to inhale bring your hands towards the front of your mat your chest and then shoulders far away from your ears lift your hips up so your back in neutral position tuck and come to forearm plank bend your knees here and come back to on four position so just a gentle movement to work your core at the same time now bend your knees and open your leg as wide as you can kick come back and down 10 times with your own breath keep breathing nine pull the belly button in eight seven six look down to the mat soften your elbows five your forearms down if it's easier for your wrist four three and two more times with your own breath and last one and slowly bring it back to the opposite side open kick come back and down ten keep breathing nine eight and seven six Five more times with your own breath. Four belly button in. Good. Three. And two. And last one. Open. Lengthen. Bend and bring your leg back to the center. Good. And now you're going to allow yourself to slowly put your forearms down. Lift your knees up. Open. Come back. Ten. Shoulders on top of your elbows. Nine. Eight. Seven. Engage your core. Six, keep breathing. Five, four, three, move backward a little bit if it's easier for your arms. Good. And last one, slowly bring your knees down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and now I want to allow yourself to come to lie all the way down on your back. So, Lengthen your arms, lift your legs up to the ceiling and you can soften your knees a little bit if you cannot straighten your whole legs up and it's totally fine, it just really depends on how your hips are and I wanted to make sure your knees are always on top of your hips here so it doesn't matter where your feet are, just your knees on top of your hips are the most important now I'm going to lengthen your arms and start to bring your leg down come back and to the side and come back to make it easier for the balance open your arms to the side so down and lift to the side and come back you can soften your knees and if that's okay just keep the same angle on your knee press your hip bones down down and lift open come back good keep breathing here with your own breath pull the belly button in and squeeze in your thighs very good and two more times there with your own breath squeeze come back contract your pelvic floor muscle last one and slowly to the opposite side so down and up open come back press your hip bones down to the mat keep your back in neutral pull the belly button in or soften your knee keep the same angle on your knee to the side come back Inhale down and up. Squeeze your inner thighs. 
bring it back slowly with control very good try to always keep the same angle on your knees press your shoulder blades down press your whole arms down to the mat and two more times with your own breath open come back and last one and open bring it back and slowly hug your knees to your chest shake your hips rotate your ankles and then reverse all right bring your legs up to 90 degrees open your knees wider arms along your body and bring your knees back towards the center so 10 keep breathing 9 8 7 activate your feet 6 and 5 4 belly button in 3 keep breathing 2 and last one and slowly bring your legs back now bring both legs down to the mat, shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply and exhale deeply, open your knees wider, activate your feet. Now we're going to inhale, lift your leg, one leg just above the mat and move forward the front, come back to the center, keep the same angle on your knee, this is a new movement for today, so 10, 9, keep breathing, 8, 7, to the side, and come back six keep the same angle on your knee five four shoulder blades down back in neutral three leave your leg a little bit higher if it's easier for your hips and last one and to the other side lift it up to the side come back ten keep breathing nine belly button in eight and exhale come back seven six shoulders down and five stabilize your hips Four, belly button in, three, inhale and exhale, and two, and last one, slowly bring your legs back to the center, beautiful, all right, and now lift your legs up, open your knees as wide as you can, open both legs, and then come back, and open, and bring it back, if you want to make it more challenge, open your leg to the side, and back to the center, ten times, so with your own breath, keep breathing, nine, eight, very good, and seven, pull the belly button in, six, five, inhale, open, exhale, come back, three, two, and last one, slowly bend your knees, shake your, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I want to allow yourself to rotate your ankles, reverse. Keep your legs up to 90 degrees, now bring your heels towards one side so your knees facing towards the opposite side open your arms wider and now slowly bring your leg further away and move one leg down and lift so your knees on top of your hips here 10 keep breathing 9 8 this is amazing for the side of your hips and your booty muscle 6 keep breathing squeezing your thighs 5 back in neutral 4 belly button in three beautiful guys this is another new movement for today and last one down and lift to the opposite side down and up for ten keep breathing nine shoulder blades down eight pull the belly button in seven inhale and down and exhale up five keep breathing four belly button in three beautiful guys two and last one slowly bring your heels back to the center bring your legs down shut your hips and let's do some cool down movement before we complete the workout so lengthen one knee hug one knee to the chest and now inhale rotate your ankles reverse open your knee to the side and the other hand press on your opposite hip bones so you can open your hips a little bit and lengthen if you feel flexible enough if not, just go as far as you can, totally fine. And come back and close your knees. And now rotate your knees, tiny circle here. Reverse. Lengthen your leg up, dorsi flex, plantar flex. And five, four, three, two, one. Rotate your ankle. Reverse and slowly bring your leg down lengthen hug your opposite knee rotate your ankle reverse open your knee to the side to open your hip 
just as far as you can lengthen your leg as far as you can Plant the flex with your foot and come back and slowly bring your leg back to the center good rotate your hip tiny circle reverse lengthen your leg up dorsi flex and plantar flex five four three two one rotate your ankle reverse and slowly bring your leg down hug both knees to the chest straight your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth dorsi flex with your feet and bring your legs down to the mat all right and now arms along your body tuck the tailbone forward draw your hips all the way up and down and five keep breathing come back four belly button in bring it back and three two beautiful and last one and slowly bring your hips down and open your knees wider Make a little pose here, five, four, three, two, one, and now close your knees, lean on one side, two, sit up, rotate your shoulders, reverse, rotate your head around your neck slowly, and reverse, and bring your head back to the center. And that's the work I said. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how it goes for you by commenting below. I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next day. Bye bye.